Good morning everyone and welcome to week 11 in my virtual warm-up choir practice on Friday. Um, another lovely morning here in North Dorset. I hope it's the same with you, I'm sure it will be. Um, we've certainly had a good week this last week weather-wise. Um, it's been amazing just watching the summer blossoming in front of our eyes. Time seems to be flying. I can't believe that it's June already next week. But there we go. As always, uh, John has prepared liturgy for this Sunday, um, and you'll find that on the team website. And I've recorded some music for it as well. Um, and this week has been a little bit special because I was able yesterday to travel down to Swanage to um, really to check on the organ in St Mary's and in fact I checked on the organ in Studland um, and David Fawcett's very kindly done the same for the organs in All Saints and at St Mark's um, because the organs haven't been played for weeks and weeks and weeks and it was a great privilege to sit in the church for an hour and to play some music, uh, really lovely. So I thought it'd be rather nice to record the hymns for Sunday and an organ piece on the church organ which is what I've done. So watch out for that. Now of course this coming Sunday is the Feast of Pentecost, Whit Sunday, and it's always an exciting time for musicians because there's been so much music which has been inspired by the Holy Spirit and written for this very special season. Um, I think from the very simple anthem, something like Thomas Atwood, Come Holy Ghost, or the really pretty Listen Sweet Dove by Grace and Ives, to the downright crazy and really hard, like Jonathan Harvey's Come Holy Ghost, which I remember conducting once at a Southern Cathedral's festival and being scared out of my wits, it was so difficult to do. And it's got this sort of aleatoric bit in the middle where all the voices are just, you're just encouraged to sing and to shout whenever you feel like it. And it's supposed to represent speaking in tongues. It's a really good piece, but boy, is it hard. Anyway. I've got two recommendations for this week for Music for Pentecost, pieces that are very special to me, that I really enjoy. Um, and the first one is the uh, opening movement of The Apostles by Edward Elgar, and uh, the piece is The Spirit of the Lord, um, which works so well as an anthem for Evensong. Um, very long introduction on the organ, which of course originally would be an orchestral introduction. Um, but the piece is just so beautiful, such wonderful Elgarian melodies. It's got power, it's got sweetness and lightness, it's got everything really. So if you don't know it, do uh, listen to it. I've given you a link um, on the email. And then as a complete contrast to that, I've spoken before about my love of uh, Tudor polyphony. Um, I think probably one of my very, very favorite pieces ever for Pentecost is by Palestrina, um, and it's the six part motet, Dum Complarentor, which is full of vitality, it's full of imagery, it's full of rhythmic life, it's very tuneful too. Um, and it just, to me, portrays the whole sense of the coming of the Holy Spirit. Um, it's quite a long piece, it's nearly five minutes long, but it really is absolutely wonderful. So, um, if you don't know it, uh, have a look on the video. I think uh, I've pointed you to a video by the, uh, the 16, or a recording by the 16, which is just amazing. So. Do listen out for that. And of course there are lots of other pieces as well, lots of wonderful Whitsuntide hymns um, which are just so enjoyable. Um, so lots to think about for Whitson. Anyway, I thought I'd be brave uh, today and we'd do our warm-up outside as it's such a lovely day. Again I'm just checking that the postman doesn't hear me sing. I've got my trusty pitch pipe here. So, um, <clears throat> I'm standing reasonably comfortably and nice and relaxed. Okay, uh, oh, I've got an itchy nose now. 
So um, we're going to start off just with our, our siren idea of starting off nice and low down here. And you can join in. And then we're going to gradually just stretch that. And if you can widen that even further. And for those of you that are very adventurous, you can go right up into your head voice. The dog's giving me a funny look. Hey. Good, all right. Now, let's just try going, we'll start on middle C, which sounds a bit like this. Uh, let's just slide up. A fifth. Ah, all yours. Ah, semitone higher. Ah, semitone higher. Ah, next one. Ah, Feel that slide. Next one. Ah, one more. Ah, excellent. Very good. And now let's do the ya 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 that we've done before. Just going ya 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 ya. Off you go. Ya 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 ya. Next one. Yeah, 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 and the next one. Yeah, 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 and the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Jolly good, excellent. Now I was asked if we might repeat this one again. I don't really do requests, but there we go. Which was C blue car, 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 C blue car. Okay, semitone higher. C blue car, 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 C blue car. And if you want a variation on that one, then the next one. C red car, 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 C red car. And a good for a bit of enunciation on your consonants. Okay, and another one. C red car, 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 C red car. And another one. C red car, 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 C red car. And if you're missing the blue one, one more. C blue car, 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 C blue car. Whew. My voice is getting really croaky. Never mind. Okay, enough of this madness. It must be time for coffee. So, um, I wish you all a very safe and happy week. Uh, hope you get out in the in the sunshine and uh, enjoy everything. I certainly enjoyed seeing the sea yesterday. Um, but anyway, I shall see you in June. Bye. <laughs>